Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for joining the lecture. In the video, I'm going to show you a web application which has been developed using Django, which is a Python framework. Now, what is uh, nice about the application? What is the, uh, you know, that factor which makes this application a unique application? So, I have combined, you know, computer vision library with this Django web-based application so as to make it artificially intelligent. Now, how this application works and how can you use, how can you run the application on your devices? That's what I'm going to tell you. So that's, this is the home page which you are seeing right now. There are two options, image upload and video stream. If you have to upload an image, you can come here on image upload and it will open for you a web page like this wherein you can key in the title you want to give to the image and then using the choose file option, you can upload the image you have to on the web application. Right, once you hit the upload option, automatically it will come and get saved over here with these files. So this is about image upload. Now comes video streaming, which has two options in it. Now video streaming only and video stream and save locally. If you have to stream a video of your own, right? And you don't want to save it on your local device. So you can go with the first option. However, if you have to save it on your local device, you can go with the second option. So that's the basic difference between the two. Let me check the second one. Let me show you the second one in the video. So once you click the option, it will open for you the device's camera like this, the your device's camera like this. And you know, you will get to see yourself uh, in, a, in a small frame like the way you are seeing me right now right in a rectangular in a square frame now if i come if i come here on vs code you can see here handedness is none okay why is it so because the camera is not able to see my hand in front of it however the moment i will bring my hand in front of the camera it will start detecting it Right, because I have used media pipe for the hand detection, right? I, I've told you this right in the beginning. So, as you can see here on VS Code, the landmarks are getting reflected. What are these landmarks? Basically, it's the position of my hand. So, if I will move my hand here and there, the landmarks will also change, right? The landmark will also change. So, this is the application. Uh, as I've told you, I have combined, uh, two things have been combined in the application, the Django technique and the computer vision library named MediaPipe. Similarly, if you have the knowledge of suppose three different technologies, you can combine them together to make unique things like this, right? <coughs> I will be providing the uh, you know, source code of the project to you guys in the form of a link in the description section. Visit the description section, download the code and put it in your device and check whether you are able to get the same output which I am showing you right now or not. In case you come across any issues, do let me know in the description section. Plus, if you want to learn these amazing techniques, if you want to learn how you can develop these kind of things and you want to crack the interviews of Aman companies. Do register for my uh, web application development classes. Do register for the coding classes which I provide to the students. Okay, which I am providing right now to the students. Definitely you are going to love it a lot. Right, from each and every class, you will take away many, many things. Okay, thank you so very much for being there with me in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. And whatever you have learned, please keep sharing 
it with me in the description section because it gives me a lot of motivation right positive comments means a lot for me okay so thank you so very much bye bye take care and have a great day ahead